Good morning, guys. Hey, um, what about the farmer? When does the farmer get to have their say in anything? So, any other business in the world, you're a local machinist, a welder, a banker, a, an accountant, whatever, you name the business, you get to kind of set your price. Now, if there's a competitor, obviously you have the, the price of competition. But as a farmer, we have no say in our price other than trying to be a stockbroker of ourselves. And so what I mean is I cannot put up a bunch of corn and then advertise that corn for sale for $4.50. Eh, granted, I might be able to do that to a, a couple deer hunters and a few squirrel feeders, but for the most part, you're not cleaning out your bins by putting an ad on Craigslist of corn for sale for $4.50 because the elevators aren't going to do it. The elevators are like, well, here's the price we're going to pay you, and you either take it or don't take it. If you don't take it, here's the future prices, and you can make them work. Good luck. And then you have the the speculators and the the the, the traders in New York and, and Wall Street that are in the government and everybody in the world the world is dictating our prices. Well, it rained in it rained in South America. Beans are down. You know, it's just a stupid, stupid deal. And then, uh, and then, what about us? You take grain. I on Soilman.com uh, this morning. I started this topic to keep so you can keep the conversation going on the forum. Um, but. Farmers, we haul our grain in and you get docked for grain damage and they just dump it in the same barge as everybody else's grain. You take dry corn in and they don't give you a premium or a thank you, but you take wet corn in and they give you huge dockage. If you're low on protein, if you got too much foreign matter, whatever it is, low test weight, they dock you. And then they dump it in the same barge as everybody else's crop, blend it off, and they're done. And it seems like the only people making out from the farmer's money are the bankers on the interest to help keep us going, the elevators by handling our material for us, and everybody else other than the farmer gets to keep the farmer's money. And uh, by golly, you know, when, when somebody starts bringing back the old NFO program where all the everybody in the neighborhood is going to keep 20 percent fallow and if you don't you wake up with some holes in your radiators kind of deal i uh, i think it's time farmers start controlling our own product i don't know it's very frustrating when you go on to social media and you have a world that is fat and you have all these people that just on the touch of their phone can have food delivered to them in minutes they open their fridge or their cupboard and there's always food there. And what do they complain about on social media all the time? Their food. It has GMO. Was this chicken raised free range? What was the humanity level in the caring of this hog? How are these steers? What's the breeding of these cattle? Where was their mom? How was the mom treated? Were they grass fed only? <laughs> you know? And then, the, like me on Highway 70 here, I got a, we got a local sticker guy, and I'm going to have him put a sticker on the back of the combine up here. Uh, for sure on the back of one of my gravity wagons is, uh, don't complain about me driving slow while you got a mouthful of food. I think that's, I think that's a good one. I think that's a good one. Don't complain about food when you got it. How about that? It's uh, kind of a weird world we live in, but I think farmers need to figure out and get together and uh, start getting together and control their own production and start controlling our pricing. It uh, Look at when corn went to $8. Look at all the ground that came out of CRP the next year. Why? Corn was $8. If everybody would have just kept sticking to 80% of their corn acres, corn would still be $8 and we would be making good money. But you always have them people, well, it's up high. Let's put in every acre we can to corn to capture that market while we can. How about let's figure out how to control the market? Rant over. Guys, have a good one. I'm going to get going.